Guys, what am I missing? I'm out to lunch on something here. I thought that Henry Cejudo was fighting Aljo Sterling. Done. World title fight, 135 pounds. Co-main event on the Adesanya Pierre card. Done. None of that is true, apparently. I mean, I'm asking you guys a real question. Like, there isn't a plot twist in here. If you know the answer, go to the comments and tell me what time it is. Because I got something off. This all got brought to my attention. And, and UFC.com is my source for this. Who, who, by the way, has not been impeccable over history. Like, there has been times where it will tell you a card that isn't the card. I mean, it's insisting right now that Bryce Mitchell has a loss that Bryce Mitchell never had. I mean, just for example, like it's, it's not the most perfect source. Umar. Umar Nurmagomedov. Last night, gets into the wheelhouse of Sugar Sean. Says that Sugar Sean's the only one that doesn't have a fight. That's why he would like to fight him. His deduction, right? He's doing addition by subtraction, but he laid out his case anyway, that Sugar Sean is the only one with how to fight. He then even took a shot at Sugar Sean. Said Sugar Sean is too busy at the hair salon to come and fight him. All right, good enough, good enough. Better than anything else I had to work with, but that would only strengthen my resolve that I am correct that Henry and Aljo are going to fight each other. But according to UFC.com, they're not. Where, where am I wrong? I thought that that fight was made. And the, and the mere fact that Nurmagomedov is saying that everybody else is busy would tell me that fight is made. Do I just have the date wrong? That could be. I mean, once upon a time, they were going to fight in March. Everybody was going to fight in March. Maybe that fight is still in March. I'm asking you guys a question. I'm not, I'm not attempting to be cute or funny here. One thing that I did like that Nurmagomedov did, I would like to see one of the boys from Dagestan go heel. I've never fully understood how one of the most intimidating and stoic teams that we've ever seen within the sport doesn't have one amongst them that's rolled with the bad guys yet. I, that, I don't understand that. I'm not sure how they perceive themselves, and maybe they don't perceive themselves as intimidating. Maybe they don't know that. Maybe they don't know that they're like deer, and when you see one, you better look around because there's five more. Maybe they don't understand that when you don't ever smile or greet people, not, I mean, maybe. It seems to me the perfect group. There is nothing better that I know of than mystery. When I used to have to hurt somebody's feelings, when I wasn't just looking to get attention, I wasn't just looking to get a back and forth, when I actually wanted to hurt that person's feelings, when I was being a cyber bully, there was nothing meaner. There was nothing worse that I had ever done to my foe than to let the audience draw their own conclusion. It wasn't to lie. It wasn't to say a guy did something that he didn't do. I would make the audience speculate. And I would do this very easily, right? And you are part of that audience. I used to troll you. Now you're on board with me, but he, you know what I used to do to you guys? I used to put a sentence down on something the kids call Twitter. It'd be a perfectly formed sentence. But for reasons that you wouldn't know, I'd capitalize one of the words. And we walked into the store. And I would capitalize the. We walked into the store. And I would make you stare at your device and sit there and speculate and wonder and create a mystery over why I capitalized the word the. Truly, I used to do this. I would drive people insane. I had, I had death threats over this. I was labeled by Sports Illustrated the greatest SHIT talker in all of sport. I've never even used a four-letter word. None of you have ever heard me curse, ever. But I would capitalize a word in a tweet 
And there would be people in a different country that were threatening to kill me over it. Because I allowed them to speculate. I just bring this to you. I purely bring this to you because I think that it's interesting. I like that Nurmagomedov has spoken up. I like that he called out Sugar Sean. I like that he made fun of Sean and said that he's going to be in the hair salon. I also like the fact that he said that nobody's available besides Sean. Because it would lead me to believe that that would include the number one contender who has been identified as Henry Cejudo. That would lead me to conclude that that would be Aljo. But UFC.com says they're not fighting each other. At least they're not fighting in April. At least they're not fighting in the main event of the Pierre Adesanya card. I mean, not for nothing. I know this is my job. I know I'm the biggest voice out there. But I mean, I do have other things to do in my life. So I sit around and know what time guys are going to be fighting one another. So I'm coming to you. Do me a favor for once. Tell me, are Sugar Sean, are Henry Cejudo, and you know what? Don't interrupt me. Do not interrupt me. Go around interrupting me. I'll send out a tweet about you and I'll capitalize the word. We'll see who's laughing then.